Hello everyone! I'm creating this tutorial to show you how to make selections when you have a non-solid background. Most of the tutorials that show how to use the new Select and Mask tool in Photoshop show it with a solid background because that shows the power of the tools, but when you have a more distracting background and you try to follow the tutorials, it doesn't work quite the right way. Let me show you what I mean. So I have my original image. Our skin tones are kind of similar to the tones um, in the background, which kind of makes using those automated tools a little bit harder because they have a harder time selecting things. So make sure you're on one of the selection tools and then you can just choose select and mask up here in the top corner. First thing I'm going to do is choose my view mode. I like to start out with the onion skin and I usually turn it down to about 20% or so as I'm starting. We're going to use this top quick selection tool just to get a rough selection. This is kind of what we would have done in the old Photoshop just to get your rough selection. So I'm just going to quickly go through. This is the same thing that it shows you to do in all the tutorials. Um, and then so everything's looking good. This is the point where I would say, okay, the tutorials say the next tool I should use is the Refine Edge tool. So I select that and I start going around the edges and see it's actually cutting into the faces. It's cutting into the hair. It's not working like it, it supposedly should. So this is the point where I say don't even use the Refine Edge tool. This is the point where I would just use the brush tool. So you can come in and make your brush a little bit bigger with your right brackets and just brush, brush in your selection. So you're perfecting it a little bit. And then I'm going to turn my transparency up a little bit so I could see a little bit better where the, the problem areas are around the head, around the hair. Uh, another really cool feature is you can change it to overlay. This helps you see where there are issues inside. Like if I had used the Refine Edge tool, sometimes it cuts into clothes or cuts into shirts. That red showing through really helps me find. So usually I keep it on onion skin or I'll put it on white or on black to help me see what I'm doing. The trick is you want to kind of zoom in close so you can see what you're doing and you have these brush options up here. There's another place for you to change the size of your brush. Usually I try to keep it a little bit less hard, maybe down here around 30 or 40 percent and then I'm just going to hold down, well, to add to my selection, I don't have to push anything. I can either minus from my selection here, or I just like to hold down Option. And you can get in really close, and the smaller your brush goes, the more clean your selection is going to look. So I just get my brush small, and then I can go all the way around, just paint back in where it was taken out. This takes a little bit more time, but that's just the nature of choosing a photo that has a busier background. So it is possible to get a clean selection using this new tool. You also have all the same features that were in the Refine Edge tool here. So it really is a cool tool, but it's not quite as amazing as it looks in the tutorials because um, those all show you a solid background. But let me just show you. So I haven't finished this one yet, but as you can see, it is possible to get nice clean selections. Um, if I was to continue on this, I would just make sure my mask is selected over here in the layers palette, choose my brush tool, and start painting on black to continue what I was doing before. So that's all for you. Let me know if you have questions. Good luck. It is a powerful tool. It's a lot of fun. So enjoy your time in Photoshop making selections.